वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन एंटी माइक्रोबियल रेजिस्टेंस ट्रांसमिशन डायनमिक्स एंड सर्वेलेंस सीरीज टुडे आई विल टॉक ऑन अ वेरी सीरियस इशू द स्प्रेड ऑफ सुपरबर्ग इन द हॉस्पिटल्स यू नो द हॉस्पिटल्स आर द वन ऑफ द रिजर्वाइर्स एंड कैरियर फॉर द इन्फेक्शन वॉट यू कॉल द नोजोकोमिल इन्फेक्शन सो द पेशेंट्स विच आर एल्डरली पेशेंट्स आर द पोस्ट ऑपरेटिव पेशेंट्स are the patients which are being admitted for some some other ailment or reason of disease in the hospital and they stay for some time and they are either they are on intubation or they are not on intubation intubation means either they are on ventilator or some other machinery system support system for life saving system or they are not on intubation in both the cases there's a lot of chances of acquiring the infection through hospitals so we call the nosocomial infection or we call the hospital setting or hospital carry acquired infection now once the superbug is spreading in the hospital there's a ample chance of carrying these infection from hospital setting by the patients so many time the patients are admitted in the hospital for one disease but he or she may carry the infection of different kind so this is one reason so uh, what is the superbug superbug is a bacteria which is not killed by any antibiotic so we call the resistant to all antibiotic even the colistin which is the last resort of antibiotic we can call it a superbug especially as discovered in 2014 in aligar we call aligar superbug in andium 4 variants which is one of the enzymes i'm not going into more technicality of it which degrade the incoming drugs which is given to the patient for example imipenem and meropenem drugs are given to the patient to treat infections common infections and in that case the bacteria having that enzyme bacteria having that variant andium 4 or andium 1 are there number of variants acquired by bacteria right may degrade the drug and drug's efficacy is lost so patients cannot be cured by these drugs molecules so this is the this is the condition when the superbug causes the infection so uh, what we are talking today is about the spread of superbug in hospital there's a one normal infection in the hospital which can be cured by several you know antibiotics but many time if the superbug causes the infection in the hospital patients either the patient which are visiting the hospital or the patient which acquired or which are which are uh, admitted in the hospital even icu and icu and other wards so they acquired the infection now when the infection acquired by the patients and the infection is because of the superbug infection that the treatment is almost impossible it's very difficult especially in the elderly patients those who are beyond 60 or 70 in new nets as well as the patients which are on compromising mode or which are on the drugs like in chemotherapy or hiv patients or immunocompromised patients so that's a very difficult situation to handle such kind of infections uh i'll also focus on an icu neonatal intensive care unit and neonatal intensive care unit is one of the most important unit where the neonates of a age of day 1 to day week or month are staying because of some premature birth or preterm babies birth or some other ailments and they've been kept on intubation or on 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 ventilators or on cots so the infection which is spreading in an icu may cause some you know serious effect on these small babies or neonates uh currently uh, what our research revealed that at least large number of ndm superbug variants are being spread in the hospitals which showed through my published published data so i'm not going to uh, kind of threat or i'm not going to make you scared about these kind of information but make you aware that you should be careful about visiting hospitals and and staying in the hospitals on the other side the healthcare worker should be careful about handling the patients 
and cleaning the hospitals, you, you may fumigate the ICU, you may fumigate the NICU regularly so that the infection could be subsided. Uh, if the infection cannot be controlled, cannot be checked, cannot be managed at this point of time, then I think that would be a big disaster down the air. So we call them as the next AMR pandemic. I, I'll, I'll not talk on what kind of a variants is, are spreading in the hospital, which, which is beyond your, your understanding. So as a, a general public, uh, but I think there are a number of variants have been discovered so far and they are causing the a uh, very deleterious effect on this kind of a situation. So I think we all should be careful about it and uh, know what the infection are and you know, don't use a uh, number of antibiotics by their own and try to make your hand clean and uh, be very careful about the infection control at every point of time, every level. With this, we can at least subside this kind of infection and the problem can be subsided uh, having not used many antibiotics. Thank you very much.